Today, Rachel serves as the chair of the Galveston County Tea Party. A citizen activist for many, many years, Rachel worked tireless, tirelessly in Austin during the last session. Every time I walked down a hallway, I'd see Rachel. She was meeting with legislators and testifying in committee meetings. She was calling them out. She was determined to ensure that the views of the voters right here at home were faithfully represented in the hallways of, uh, of the Capitol in Austin and that establishment politics did not win the day. As a small business owner, Rachel knows that hard work and determination are the keys to success and she is ready to take her determination and grit to the Texas Capitol. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Rachel Delgado, candidate for the Texas House District 23. Rachel, come on down. Hello, Galveston County. Do we have any folks here that are employed in the petrochemical industry? Anybody who works at the plants anywhere in this district? Would you clap your hands if you work in the petrochemical industry? My name is Rachel Delgado. I'm the daughter of a union pipe fitter. And I am deeply connected to the industries that are the engines of our local economy. And I'm concerned tonight. I'm concerned about the EPA and its attack on Texas industry and what its crusade to regulate CO2 will do to our local economy, our jobs, and our families. And I'm concerned tonight about UTMB Galveston. I was speaking to some folks from UTMB recently Contrary to what you may have heard, UTMB is not saved. And I'm concerned tonight about our, the refusal of our elected officials in Austin to get our state's fiscal priorities straight. Focus on constitutional mandates and return government to its proper role. Your head would spin if you knew some of the ridiculous legislation that is passed in here in, in the state of Texas. Like you, my husband and I are raising a family here in Galveston County. Like you, I know that we must turn this eco economy around. And like many of you, I realized I had to get involved. November 2010 was referred to by our president as a shellacking. But we've got to do more than just vote. We've got to hold our elected officials accountable. <laughs> so in this last legislative session, I went to Austin and I sat in on committee hearings. I used to hate lobbyists, so I joined them. As a citizen taxpayer advocate, I wanted to make sure that the views of my family and my friends and our Tea Party were known. And I was very disappointed to learn that our local representatives are completely detached from their constituents. November's message was one of fiscal responsibility, yet Representative Craig Island voted against making government more transparent and fiscally responsible. Craig Island introduced HB 259, a clever new tax on your video subscription do you take Netflix like we do? Okay. And while you're here working hard and raising your family, Representative Craig Island was sitting on the Insurance Commission making the rules for TWIA, the Texas Windstorm Insurance Agency, and then suing TWIA for millions of dollars, the same dollars that fund K through 12. Representative Island voted against HCR 66, which was a message from the state of Texas, pushing back against the EPA's outlandish regulations on our industries. He voted against you, our local industries, and our jobs. And so I realized 
that someone had to take on Craig Island and that the Republicans and the, and the Democrats that are self-dealing, crony, phony, full of baloney politicians like him have got to go. Will you join me? Help me send Craig Island back to his law practice and his million dollar home in Austin. My name is Rachel Delgado and I'm asking for your vote, Texas House District 23. Thank you. Wasn't she great? Come on, get her excited. This is her first time out. Come on, let's encourage her. First time I met Rachel, she showed up at one of my classes I teach each spring on how to effectively protest your values. And she was there frantically taking notes, and she kept me there late that night. And I believe she successfully beat the appraisal district, so way to go. OK, 